Hmm, so is Dean actually an antenna? No. Anyways, welcome to another adventure into that. So we're right now in the morning cave of the Hildros. I know I shouldn't be this happy, but intro. Uh, just talking about this story actually kind of makes me sad because I actually went to see how many Hildros I have destroyed before this part started. And it is not looking good. Well, good thing the un unusual hill trolls aren't actually from Kangria. So, destroying them might make me feel a bit more at ease. Oh. I. Oh, sorry. I wanted to say if these hill trolls are really deceased, but they're still moving for some reason. How did that flower get this far underground? Did someone bring it in memory of the deceased hilly truth? I... I... I know this flower. Hey, now that you mention it, Paimon thinks it looks kind of familiar too. It's the one that... It is the national flower of Kanria, the Intivat. It once bloomed all over the nation. It would only last two weeks before wilting. But if you were to pluck one and take it out of Kanria, the petals would stop growing and turn hard. Only when it finally returned to its home soil would the petals grow soft once more and finally turn to dust. So the Intivat is a symbol for a wanderer far from home, signifying the tenderness of the homeland. That's the flower I've been wearing in my hair since I woke up. <gasps> So for this flower to get here, it must have been brought from... Your Highness, so the proposal finally has your blessing. In focusing single-mindedly on confronting the heavenly principles, we neglected our original mission, the revival of the homeland. I should not have been so indecisive. The device is almost ready. We await your command. What are the chances of succeeding? Theoretically speaking, uh, approximately... Forget it. Even a 1% chance is enough. For too long have we dwelt in the Abyss. Surely they would rather return to the natural cycle of life and death as soon as possible than continue to exist as they are, without a shred of dignity. They cannot be made to continue paying the price for those so-called sins. The Order is most fortunate to be graced with your decision. You saw something, didn't you? Can you tell me what it was? Yeah, you zoned out for quite a while there. Huh. Well, people do say that twins have a special connection. It sounds as if they are attempting to make use of certain equipment to cleanse the curse. It could well be the device we saw earlier. And you say he mentioned the revival of the homeland, correct? He said it was his mission. No surprise there. Stubborn as ever. It appears as if the Abyss Order plans to use this location to cleanse the Hilly Churls of their curse and restore them to the way they once were. Then, they will serve as the foundation for reviving the nation of Kanria. After all, 
There can be no nation without a people. Do they have a chance? <laughs> it is the height of foolishness. They have no chance of success, not even a 1% chance. I told you already that no one knows this curse better than I, having lived with it for 500 years. There is no redemption. There is no undoing the curse. Trying to remove it by force will achieve nothing but to inflict further suffering. So make sure you are clear in your mind. You have to tell yourself, they are no longer human. If you cling to false hope and allow yourself to become too emotionally invested, the only way is down. You will end up just like them, mired in hypocrisy. Save your strength for something worth saving. Why should I believe you? Oh? <laughs> but of course, I am merely someone you hired for a task, while he is your brother. It is only natural for you to side with him. But whatever decision you make cannot deter me from mine. My chosen path is to stop the abyss. If we have reached an impasse, then perhaps this is where we should say... I choose to believe you. <laughs> it just means that I don't approve my, of my brother's methods. I see. A 1% chance of redemption versus a 99% chance of suffering. And death. Nobody has the right to make that choice on another living being's behalf. Especially not when these spirituals have already chosen the end that they desire. It seems that the three questions I put to you on our first meeting were worthwhile. You have developed your own individual views on this world. Very well. Since you have volunteered your true thoughts on this matter, I shall not hide mine from you. Right now, I have a more immediate agenda than stopping the Abyss. That is to say, the Abyss's actions here directly dishonor the final wishes of Halfdan and my other compatriots. I cannot allow this to proceed. Then let's stick together for this one. The Abyss may appear at any moment. Be on your guard at all times as we proceed. Yes, sir. We both should support each other. <sighs> this which is... Remember you, old people of my world. All right, back onto the sword we go. Uh, we can see the upside down city from here too. Wait, watch out! The mutation is continuing. Has the Abyss made its move already? Jane Smith, I see your incessant meddling continues, and that you have once again joined forces with our Highness's kin. 
Regrettably, I was not in time to control your exit from the network. And it sent you here of all places, Lot. This was a catastrophic error. Hmm. I am surprised that you dare to face me. You ran like a coward last time. Our Highness's will must be done. All interferences must be removed. Whatever the price to pay. This time, the curse that torments our people must be undone, once and for all. You are the only ones who torment them. There is nothing else left of those hilly churls. Nothing besides the curse itself. Say what you wish. I am going nowhere, Dainsley. Bring it on! Then you will give your life just to delay the inevitable. How absurd. But since you wish to persist, then so be it! Do we get to use Dane? You really think you can use that device beneath the pool to cleanse this curse? Do not underestimate the ways of the abyss. You cannot provide the cleansing effects of the water in our tenfold, but a hundredfold. Then I overestimated you. This plan is even cruder than I thought. There's no time to celebrate. The Abyss Order's device is activating, but there's still time to destroy it. All right, let's go! Small detour. Let's just see if there's anything helpful behind here. A reward of course, on the road. Most helpful indeed. Now we gotta go. So, where is the fastest route? There is no fastest route. We have to go. Now. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, that was an error. Oh, this is not good, this is not good. Masayu, you, you can do this. Okay, change back, change back. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We don't have much time. I trained in the Squid Game domain. I cannot lose my power right now. 
Oh man. Do I really have to resort to food? Okay, 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 okay. We need to do this faster. Um, where is that? There. Oh no, oh no, oh no. The amplification device. been turned to ashes in an instant. Halfdan's soul is extraordinarily resilient. Meddling fool! Encumber us no more! Don't you have a greater encumbrance to worry about? Come on! This is your grand opportunity to get rid of me! Take him out and deactivate the device! We're on it! The Abyss! Device is active. The cursed are rendered powerless. Only you can take on the abyss. If you value his sacrifice, then do not waste any more time here. See all these rays of light and portals. They must have installed several of these energy devices in various locations. Find them quickly. So we have to go through these abyss portals? Uh, hey, wait for Paimon! <laughs> Oh, wait! Dane, this must be unbearable 
for you too, right? Never mind that. Half Dan and the others are enduring far greater suffering than I. There's no time to lose. No matter the cost this time. Freeze to the core! I condemn you! Last one. sensation has indeed stopped. So, we managed to stop the Abyss Order's plan? What's happening? Let me check. Dane must be really upset. Of all the ways to be reunited with one of his former comrades after so long. Let's go. Captain Dainsliff, Twilight Sword. Back then, I failed you and failed to protect our people. <laughs> no. For 500 years, you have faithfully done your duty. To this day, I am proud of you all. <sighs> Conria didn't fall, did it? Since you're still here. Correct. <sighs> so, no need to revive the homeland. That was Haftan's soul. 
More than one kind of strange power exists here. Souls are no strange sight under the circumstances. Still, if you intend to venture deeper in and continue your investigation, you ought to be careful. <coughs> you bet! We'll be super careful! Oh, but dang! Does this mean you're not coming with us? That device took a severe toll on me. It will take me some time to recover. Oh, right. Well, actually, Baimon already knew that. You've clearly been pushing through the pain this whole time. You've earned a good rest, Dane. Oh, you should take a vacation! Vacation? <laughs> the very notion. This word has no business being in my vocabulary. There are more important things that demand my attention. The Loom of Fate operation is still underway. And I suspect that these amplification devices are connected to that plan. We will talk more next time. After you've recovered. Thank you for understanding. I only hope that next time we meet, you know whose side you're on. Sheesh! He sure knows how to hold a grudge. Saving that snide remark right until the end. Well... Shame that we didn't get to see your brother again. But at least we learned some useful info, huh? As long as you keep pressing on with your journey, you guys will definitely meet again. And everything will be back to normal. Right? Oh, Paimon almost forgot. The real reason we came here was to investigate what was going on with the hill trills, wasn't it? We've probably seen enough to report back to the miner now. But, uh... How are we going to explain it to him? This is all way too complicated for regular people to understand. Uh, eh, we'll figure it out. Just don't forget about the commission when we're done here. And that's the end of the Archon Quest. Well, sadly, we still didn't get to meet our brother. I was supposing that we would meet him, but apparently not this time. I think we'll meet him in Sururu somewhere. Well, but that's for another time. So, anyways guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and also leave a comment. And if you also kindly do so, please wait for me to adjust the angle because this is a very hard shot. i never done this in the temple before, so give me a second. Alright, there. I think that's good enough. And, thank you guys again. We'll meet you guys uh, uh, on next area. On next time. Uh, Remember to subscribe and also hit that bell because you do not want to miss out on the Sumeru quest stories. Storyline, quest, whatever they say. You do not want to miss it. I did take a sneak peek on Sumeru, actually. There's no guys. There's no leakages. But I did have a vision of Sumuru in here. No, not here. Here. I can actually see some stuff that it will be future in... Actually future in all of the games. That are otherworldly. Or in real terms. Sick guy. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this episode. And we'll meet you all next time in another area. Of course, I'll still get some Lumen Stones on the way. And no, that thing is the is get uh, more. Uh, uh.